Hello everybody, welcome back to 366 Days of Hope. My name is Pearl and I'm here to share our next video, stir fry udon. I am in love with noodles and yes, stir fry udon is one of my favorites. So here I am going to show you guys how I make mine. I've changed it up from the way I used to make it just a tad bit, um, just because I like my vegetables cooked first. And so I like to also marinate my noodles. So let's go ahead and check it out. The first thing I did was I prepared my tofu by chopping it up into cubes and then I marinated it in this Asian style dressing and then I air fried it once it was done air frying I literally just put it back into the same bowl and allowed it to marinate again then I prepared my udon noodles by adding a little bit of soy sauce and it's really important to make sure that it's already soft and then I went ahead and made the sauce for the stir fry basically it's one whole lemon some sesame oil some soy sauce and a little bit of rice vinegar and then I set it aside. Next, in a wok, I added some oil and then I added my green beans. I sauteed it. Um, once it heated, then I went ahead and added a little bit of water just to steam it and also maintain its texture because I didn't want it to overcook. So that was pretty much it. Then I added my carrots and the rest of my vegetables, which was broccoli. And I did the same process by just making sure it was all thoroughly cooked. I went ahead and did the same thing by later adding a little bit of water, steaming it out so that it cooks quickly to keep its texture. And then it was time to basically put everything together. I sauteed onions and garlic um, and I did it with the sauce instead of adding an oil. So that way it just like absorbed the flavor a lot better. And then once that was done, I added in my noodle. Um, some people like to do it backwards, like um, or maybe this is backwards, but I liked it better this way because then the noodles really incorporated the sauce really well. And so every now and then I would just kind of basically add in my sauce. And then once all the sauce was pretty much used about halfway, then I added the vegetables and then topped it off with the last ingredient, which was the um, cabbage, as you saw there. And then I just kind of shoved all the cabbage underneath it to really warm it up. And then I just covered it and I allowed it to just heat and it cooked perfectly. It was so good, it was simple. And then I added the rest of the sauce at the very end. Honestly, I have to say probably this version of cooking it was probably my favorite and definitely one worth giving a try. Well guys, I hope you guys enjoyed that. This dish was absolutely delicious. Yeah, I had to make sure I did it for myself. And it was definitely simple to make, easy to do. It took just about 30 minutes and I'm done. And yes, I did end up um, chopping all of my vegetables all in advance to make this an easy dish. So again, like I say about meal prepping all the time, if you have everything chopped up the night before and you know you're planning on making a meal, it makes it so much easier and more likely for you to actually get it done. And it goes by so much faster. So with that said, guys, may you live, thrive, and be healthy. Take care. Bye.